In the first episode of Drag Race All-Stars 8, Monica Beverly Hills was eliminated. She was recently a guest on the podcast series with Joey Nolfi where she spilled a lot of tea behind her elimination. To start off with, Monica expressed her surprise at finding out the change in the format of the All-Stars 8 premiere episode, since the first episode is usually a reading challenge and a talent show. She mentions that as the girls were entering the workroom, she was preparing reads for them in her mind, and coming to the talent show. She reveals that she would have had a dance number, since she has been dancing professionally since she was 13 years old. But for the main challenge, were you surprised that it wasn't the talent show? Because that's usually what kicks off All Stars. I'll tell you this much. You can see it on my face. I was gooped and gagged because <laughs> I was coming into this like, I've already watched a couple of episodes of All Stars. It's going to be the talent show and the reading challenge. So as the girls were coming in, I'm looking at them and also reading them in my head like, okay, I got to read for her, <laughs> or read for her, or read for her, and so and so. So when this came and happened, I was like, Oh, I think I was a little bit too prepared for this and it's not happening right now. So gag. Mm -hmm. I was going to um, basically uh, dance because a lot of people don't know I'm a dancer. I've been mm -hmm. dancing since the age of about uh, 13 in professional dance groups. That's actually how I knew Nasha. For the maxi challenge, Monica talks about being in her head and what she meant when she said that. She was concerned about the group and not necessarily herself, since she was worried that they were going to be judged as a group, and she wasn't confident in the choreography at all, describing it as messy. She believes that she would have done a better job in the other group comparatively. Girl groups to me, I don't, ugh, it's a lot of pressure <laughs> because not only are you performing for yourself, but you have to be concerned with everybody else in the group. You have to look cohesive. So when I mentioned that, it was not necessarily about me being in my own head about myself. It was about the group as a whole, because, you know, we might be judged as a group. And I wasn't that confident with the choreography. I felt like it was just all over the place. I said it a couple of times, and then I was cursing after a couple of times. And then I had an attitude about it because nobody was kind of like, you know, it, everybody was just like, let's get it done and let's do what we have to do, which I understand it's a lot of pressure. And then seeing the other group perform, you know, they were so just being themselves and everything felt together so good. It was just like, okay, I feel like- Do you think you would have fared better in the other group? Yes, definitely. They talk about the comical moment when Alexis started stealing the light, when she started crying and made it about herself. I feel very deeply for the girls that are in the position that you're in right now. I wasn't sure how I'd be received here. <laughs> and I hoped that it would be well. Monica mentions that it threw her off the loop and she was disgusted by her in the moment. She mentions that she realized that since it's a reality show, many of the queens would try to grab as much screen time as they can, and a lot of stuff was going to happen which wasn't gonna sit right with her. Oof, it was a lot going on in that room. And then when that <laughs> happened, it threw me for a loop because I'm like, oh, now we're going to be playing this game. Now it's going to be like, which bitch could have the most camera time here, right? Oh, no. So I felt kind of like, Ugh, kind of disgusted at the moment with her. But then I was like, uh, what can I expect? We're in a reality show. We're taping a goddamn show. A lot of stuff is going to happen that is not okay with me. And it's okay, whatever. But I just felt like, here she goes, stealing the show. But when she started crying, I was just like, well, there goes that girl back in her season coming out again. Monica and Nasha have been close-knit friends. Nasha mentioned that she couldn't vote for her because of the relationship they had. I know that bitch and she was 16, 17 years old. Uh, you know, I was just sort of like, I can't vote for her. This, this is my teammate. But regardless, Nasha ended up voting her out. Monica reveals that all this while she was under the impression that Nasha didn't vote for her until she watched the episode. She mentions that it put a really bad taste in her mouth and is still holding a grudge against her. Did you two have a conversation about that afterward? I'm wondering. Uh, we did at, actually last week at press after we saw it. I was kind of hurt. I'm not going to lie. And I'm the kind of person that I don't care where we're at. The moment's the moment. I'm going to bring it to you. So I bring it to her and I was just like, you know, but I just felt like she didn't take it serious. And she just thought, you know, like 
hey, was a show, whatever. But I I was told you did not vote for me. And then I find out on TV you did vote for me. That does kind of put a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth with you. If we were ever to be put back in this position, I would definitely vote her out. The girls write write you letters at the end of, oh my God. of the thing. And it was said over and over, I didn't vote for you, yada, yada. But the people who did vote for me, let me know. And I was okay with that. Yeah, I can apologize and stuff, but I do kind of hold a grudge until I'm ready to let it go. So, so you haven't let it go yet. Oh, hell no. I'm Puerto Rican. Okay, I do not let go. Things go very easily. <laughs> let me know in comments what you think about Monica's elimination.